Hey there, millennials, and welcome to the next episode of Ask a Recruiter. In today's session, lesson, episode, whatever we're calling it, you tell me what we should call it below in the comments. Um, but today we're talking about how you can really make sure that you land or find your dream job, right? And so I'm going to start off with this disclaimer before I really get into the lesson. And you gotta just promise not to hate me, right? But what I want you to know is that you don't need to find your dream job, right? Like, um, it's not typically what you think. Um, the reason why people don't really find their dream jobs is more because they don't have clarity about what they want and what they want to do. It's not because it's not out there and it's not because people aren't hiring you for your dream job. It's because you don't know what you want. So I first need to stop you in your tracks and say, hold up, well, wait a second. I want you to figure out what your dream job is first, right? You're not just going to go find it out there. You're going to manifest by figuring out what it is. And then you are going to attract that job by being clear about what you want. So first comes clarity, 100% of the time, right? And so to be completely honest, I don't want to go on a long like list of all the things to possibly talk about that comes up for coaching clients, but coaching clients often get really stuck in their job search because they don't have clarity about they want what they want. They think, well, I should be open and I should look at all of the different options out there. And that's how I will just kind of work my way into my dream job. And that is one of the worst approaches you can have for your job search. I want you to go in it with clarity. I want you to figure out what you really, really want, right? That's what I asked. What do you really, really want for your career? If everything was perfect and you could have the job that you wanted, no questions asked, um, no interviews, just here's the offer for your dream job, what job would you want right now, right? That's what we want to get to the bottom of. We are team, no just any job, we are team dream job, okay? So that's what I want you to get in the mindset of and I want you to get real clarity on what you want first, okay? So once you've done that, if you haven't done that, stop the video. <laughs> if you have done that, keep going, okay? So how can you really see what's out there once you get clarity on what you really want to do and what you consider to be your dream job? Um, I want you to, one, start by looking on job boards, right? That's super like intuitive, right? So look on Indeed and Glassdoor, Google, um, LinkedIn, all of those things. And what I want you to do is use keywords for your dream job, right? So for me, I might look up HR um, generalist, um, talent um, consultant, right? My current role. Um, recruitment specialist, um, HR manager, some type of role like that, that really is able to help me see what I would like out of what's out there, right? So if I have positions, I can read through those and kind of figure out, okay, is this something that aligns that what I, is what I want? But if I don't know what I want, I can't do that. I can't go and I can't explore all of those positions um, with clarity because I don't know what I want. And I'm like, okay, that looks kind of good. That looks kind of great. Like, no, we don't want to do that, right? So just look at what's out there. Um, once you start seeing what's out there and you find some positions that really align with what you want in life, then you're going to start um, saving those keywords and you're going to set up alerts for those jobs, right? So you're going to go to LinkedIn. Um, you're going to type in those keywords, your location, whatever other constraints that you have around what your dream job is in the constraints of also the search of that platform, right? Like LinkedIn, what fields can you search by? Um, and then you're going to set up alerts. My favorite two to do those on are LinkedIn and Glassdoor because their alerts are probably the smartest. I would say Glassdoor is uh, probably offers the best, most tailored responses. And so when you're, when you actually engage with those positions, Glassdoor will actually send you positions that are highly aligned with that or that other applicants who are like you applied for, right? So LinkedIn and Glassdoor are my two favorites. Type in your uh, keywords and set up your alerts to get those positions sent to you directly. 
And then all you have to do after that is continue to monitor those keywords or even titles if you decide to use that and start looking at what's out there. Again, always looking back to what you ideally want, what you consider to be your dream job, um, a career that you would be really happy and excited about um, and go from there. And then after that, I want you to just continue to monitor as you go through your job search, right? So if you're applying, um, if you're networking, um, I want you to go back to that and really make sure that you're continuously monitoring those platforms so that you can find the opportunities that are out there. Um, the last way that you can really find your dream job is to network, right? So, you know, you've all heard it. There are so many positions that are posted, um, whether they're at your dream company or not, that are not posted publicly. And so what you can do is really network, go to events, talk to professionals in your field, um, go to professional development events, all of those things that are available to you, make sure that you leverage them so that you can connect with individuals in your network and the industry. So really just make sure that you're leveraging that network so that you connect with people that can help you get into that job, help you find out more about that job, um, help you get interviews and things like that. Um, there's, of course, an entire network strategy, but we're not going to go over that in that video today, this video today. Um, but basically, make sure that you're leveraging your network because your job could be out there. It's just not posted. OK, so. Here we go, here's the summary of today's Ask a Recruiter. How can I find my dream job? One, get clarity on what your dream job is first. Two, start looking on job boards and just kind of using keywords and job titles that make sense. Two, continually monitor those platforms, um, set up alerts so that you can make sure that you're the first to know when these new positions are posted. And lastly, make sure that you're leveraging, leveraging and pulling together a network, building a network that will help you find your dream job, okay? So those are all my tips today to help you find that. And also for you, if you are on this training, you are listening to this and you're like, Okay, Mercedes, like, I know that you told me to find my dream job and get clarity before I start all this, but I have no idea what I consider my dream job, what I really want to do, all of those things. Well, I have a free resource out there called the Career Action Plan. Um, I'm going to link it below so you can download that and start to map out what that really is. And so what you do is you kind of figure out where you are now, where you want to be, and kind of look at what ideally what place you would want to be and that kind of helps you figure out the next step in your career in terms of like what is really what will encompass all of these things that i really want to do and also allow me to still fulfill my long-term dreams and my goals in my career right so let me know if you're interested in that career action plan leave a comment or just click the link below um, i know you're going to get a lot out of it it's really been beneficial for a lot of my clients so I will talk to you all in the next Ask a Recruiter. Bye.